So I have been working on a uh, planet, or ga ringed gas giant shader, and I'm putting it on uh, the Blender Market. Um, but I'm just going to show you guys how to kind of use it. Um, there's still some work that needs to be done. So it's not going to be on the Blender Market immediately, but when it is, you'll know how to use it. Um, so these were some renders that I did. Um, pretty low sample. These were all, um, yeah, only 16, 16 samples each. And you can see the atmosphere is pretty much noiseless at 16 samples. Even at 5 samples, it's got like no noise at all. Um, so here, let me switch to a better camera. Here, let me just... All right, um, and all we need for this is like five samples. Here, you can see here, um, after five samples, the atmosphere has like no noise at all, which is really cool. So for the atmosphere, you can obviously change the atmosphere color. Um, You can change the absorption amount, so if I set this to zero, there will be no red in the atmosphere. Or uh, you know, if I set the atmosphere to more orange, and you know, crank this up, you can see more blue. Let me just, uh, okay, you can change the atmosphere density. Um, you can also actually, uh, here, if I change this to like 1024, you can see that in the atmosphere there's like no noise at all. Um, you can change the atmosphere thickness, so you know, 0.1, <laughs> completely noiseless, which is super, super fun. And the planet radius, that, um, don't really mess around with the planet radius unless you, of course, actually change the size of your planet. Um, the planet radius, it, it's basically taking the, um, the, the atmosphere, uh, here, the atmosphere thickness is 0 0.01. So what it's doing is for the displacement for the atmosphere. So obviously the atmosphere is larger than the surface radius. So what it's doing is it's taking planet radius plus atmosphere thickness minus planet radius. So you're just left with this on top of it. Um, so it doesn't have to calculate all the stuff inside the planet. Uh, and you can see that if I hide the surface, there's not much inside of it. Um, you can also change the sun strength inside of the shader. You can also change the sun black body temperature, so in 2500, very red orange uh, color temperature and you know something like 35,000 should be very 
very blue. Um, and for the surface, I'm going to hide the atmosphere. And actually, I'm going to hide the rings too. For the surface, you can change the curl base because this uses um, curl fields. So you can change the uh, curl base and change the detail. All that good stuff. And roughness. It's just a noise texture. Uh, and then the actual curl scale. And you can change. Uh, you can change the band colors. Um, the bump distance. And it is. Um, it's better to change the bump distance rather than the bump strength, so there's not an option to change the bump strength here. Um, they can change the band stretching. All right. um, and the bands themselves, like scale and uh, stuff like that. detail and uh, the band roughness I kind of like that that's cool looking um, yeah, okay let's move on to uh, the rings so the actual size of the ring mesh goes uh, six meters. Uh, it's got a radius of three meters. Um, so let me go to the master planet control. Um, here you can change the uh, ring roughness. Oops, you can change the ring roughness. Um, ring contrast. Ring density. So if I set this to zero, obviously there'd be nothing there. You know. So you can change the ring density, uh, the ring seed. You can change the unlit ring brightness under here. And you can make it as bright or as dark as you want. But this is the cool part. You can change the outer ring radius all the way up to three. And you can change the inner ring radius and it, uh, the planet radius is 1 but even if you set this to 0.4 it will not go inside the planet radius um Okay, I gotta zoom in a bit to show you this part. Okay, you can change the asteroid detail. It's a bit hard to see, let me zoom in a bit more to the asteroids. Um, yeah, so you can change the asteroid detail. Asteroid detail scale and the asteroid scale. So, um, and it's all just inside of a little box here. Um, One of the features that I'm trying to properly implement is like better ring shadows. Um, because this is a newer atmosphere system that I'm using now. Um, now I'm using emission, but I used to be using volume scattering, which takes a hell of a lot of samples and Like, 
Well, it's yeah, it's very slow to render. It needs a lot of samples with the emission. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, five samples, and it's got like no noise at all. Um. But yeah, and also updates in the future will be free. Which is cool. You can see the rings inside the atmosphere, which is super awesome. It's got shimmer. But yeah, there's a lot of capabilities. Or not capability. Oh. Yeah, kind of. Uh, but a lot of the things you can do with this can make some cool looking ringed gas giants. I'm trying to add as many controls as possible. So if you would like to see any other controls uh, added, um, just put it in the comment section. And soon I will be updating the description to have the link to... Um, to this on the blender market. Oh, and also on the edges of the um, planet shadow on the rings, you can see light passing through the atmosphere and hitting the edges of these. It's super cool. All right. Well, uh, hope you have fun messing around with this when it's out. Um, my email is in the uh, about me. Email me your results. If you uh, get the shader, I'd love to see it. Bye.